Monica Schuckler can rely on good fortune. She's on a research stay in the southern German town of Constance. And here at the harbour, they say if you can throw a coin on the pole without it bouncing off, you'll have good luck. Eins. Monica lands three coins out of three. And the 26-year-old from India certainly feels lucky to have received a German Chancellor Fellowship for her visit to Germany. I love exploring what is beyond, you know, my reach to, you know, to uh, spend this uh, year full of adventure and, you know, full of research, full of traveling and full of meeting new people, learning about new things. It has been great and I could not have wished for more. Monica has been in Germany since last autumn. She's doing economic research at a technical college here in Constance. She used to work for Goldman Sachs in India but she turned away from a career in investments. Her real interest lies in the responsibility big companies have to society. Whether in Germany or India, Monica feels social engagement is part of a corporation's role. She wants to help them find the right projects to work with. The major challenge a company finds in, in you know, making their con community investment related decision making is to find the right partner and the right set of project that they should align their efforts with. You know? So there comes the entire idea of you know, handpicking certain uh, non-profit partners who might suit the vision, purpose, location, the scale of the impact that the company wants to create. Monica wants to help companies and NGOs work together to do good. That task takes her around the country. She's traveled to Leipzig for a meeting. At the station, she meets Varun Kashyab, who's on a German Chancellor Fellowship, just like her. They met three years ago while studying and then started an internet platform together for companies and organizations that want to become socially active. Monica's determination and work ethic have impressed her colleague. I think Monica is a real, real taskmaster. You give her a task and she'll, she'll, she'll not sleep, eat, whatever, you know, before, before she finishes that task. It is amazing to be with her and uh, I'm, I'm doing this together, you know. The pair are trying to attract interest for their project. That's why they're in Leipzig. They're here talking to representatives of NGOs in the city that support projects in Africa and are looking for funds. Monica's hoping they'll sign up to use her internet platform. They're impressed by Monica's vision and attitude. Totally committed. <laughs> committed, bold and fierce. I think it's exciting to have people here from India who are committed and want to promote their ideas and look for new participants in their projects. Monica learns a lot at meetings like this, and afterwards she goes over everything with her professor in Constance. Annette Kleinfeld is an economics professor and Monica's supervisor. Annual conferences. She's acting as a kind of mentor for Monica during her fellowship. To integrate some. I've invited her over a few times. We always talk about God, the world, India, and Germany, general stuff but also the background of certain cultural differences, as well as similarities. I always find that fascinating. Doors are opening for her. She often gets invited to speak to companies as well as the Chancellor's office. She's got a good reputation already. It's an exciting time for Monica. And on top of all that, she's getting a taste of German student life too. She lives in student accommodation in Constance. She won't show us her room, though. With all that traveling, she hasn't had time to tidy up. <laughs> 